I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR. We are at the Mines of Money conference here in London. With me is Steve Hansen of Acme Lithium. Steve, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, pleasure to be with you today, Tia. Are you enjoying London? I am. Um, first time here in a number of years, obviously, and uh, yeah, it's been a great conference so far. Lots of interest in, in battery mi minerals, especially lithium. Are you seeing a lot of new faces or are you seeing a lot of familiar faces? You know, many new faces. Um, again, a lot of interest from family offices, institutions uh, in lithium. And so it's been a very, very busy last couple of days. It has been. Now, Steve, can you give us a little bit of an overview of Acme Lithium and tell us about the projects that you're currently working on? Sure. Well, we're a fairly new company. We're, I founded the company about a year and a half ago, um, but we've had our running shoes on. We've moved very quickly. Uh, we now have four lithium projects, two in Nevada and two in Manitoba. Um, and so we're very excited about what's ahead in, in 2022. Can you dive into the projects a little bit more? I know there's um, two that you're primarily focused on. Yeah, we have a, a project in Clayton Valley, Nevada, which is really the epicenter of development in, for lithium uh, in the United States. Um, uh, there's only lithium one. Lithium is a big thing right it now. It is. There's only one place that lithium has been produced in the United States continuously uh, for for decades, actually, and that's at Abermarley Silver Peak Project in Clayton Valley. And we have a project that's contiguous to them, to the northwest. Um, we were very fortunate to acquire that project about a year ago. Um, we've now done two phases of geophysics and um, upcoming we're going to be drilling that lithium brine project uh, in about three or four weeks time. Um, I've, I've got a crew there building drill pads, uh, a small road in there. Um, so this is a major milestone for us. It's a lithium brine project. There's only a handful of brine projects in the United States. So we're really excited about this upcoming milestone and hoping to make a major discovery. Now, as you mentioned, you're a new company. Can you tell us a little bit about your team? Sure. Um, I've been in the resource sector for close to 30 years. Uh, I've worked on all four continents, from Mongolia to Argentina to Kenya and places in between. Uh, I've worked on alternative energy, mining and oil and gas. And so uh, I have a, a long list of uh, contacts and I've been able to assemble a, a board of directors and a team that has a long history of success in this business. So um, I've got a group, group of advisors as well that, that uh, have worked uh, in Canada and in the United States. States, the Western United States. So we're really excited about um, uh, what we can bring to the table and in advancing these projects. Uh, they're fairly early stage, but the addresses are right. That's what's really key here. Um, our projects in Manitoba surround the Tanko mine, which is an existing lithium, cesium, and tantalum mine. We've got a project about a kilometer to the south and then a project about 10 kilometers to the north, and we begin exploration there uh, in the beginning of June of this year. So some near-term milestones coming up. We're really excited about uh, 2022 and hopefully can deliver for our shareholders. And what are some of the catalysts that investors should be aware of? Well, look for us starting to drill at Clayton Valley here uh, in the next few weeks. Um, hopefully we'll have results sometime in the summertime and then look to us drill and starting to drill in Manitoba in the fall. Um, we've just recently announced a new financing. We're in good shape cash-wise, but a couple of our strategic investors have come back in with a follow-on financing. We hope to close that in the next week or so. So we're in good shape cash-wise. We'll have lots of news flow from a development standpoint. And uh, again, 2022 is going to be a very big year for our company. Lots of things on the go for Act. Acme Lithium. Steve, is there anything else that you would like to share with our investors and viewers? No, I just think that uh, our focus is being, is being a domestic supplier of lithium. There is a crisis going on here in North America. Um, uh, we absolutely need a domestic supply and hopefully Acme can be one of the companies that uh, is able to do that down the road. Amazing. Thank you, Steve, so much for joining us. Great. Thanks to you.